Hello, this is a short overview of the Level 1 course selection guide. As you're Year 10s now, you'll be looking to see what courses you're doing at Year 11. There are three compulsory courses. There is English, Science and Mathematics. All of these three are compulsory. Following that, you'll select three further courses and the overview of those will come later in this video. So your course for next year must include English, Mathematics, Science and three further courses. You'll need six subjects to make up a full Level 1 program. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Mr McDade and I'm the Head of Science. The purpose of this presentation is to give you some more information about your Year 10 options going into Year 11 for 2021. If at the end of this presentation you still have any questions, you could either speak to your science teacher or you could actually come down to the science department and speak to me and I will happily discuss your options with you. So, the first option you can have is Level 1 Science. This course is a purely internal course. There are no examinations at the end of the year. Uh, the five internals that you do would be a mixture of research and practical skills. This course only leads to level two science. So please be aware that if you want to do biology, chemistry or physics in level two, this is not the course you want to be taking. The next course we have here is a level one science with external. This course has two external examinations and two internals. This course directly leads to level two biology, chemistry or physics. And this would be what the majority of people who are considering university or college or a particular job where you need um, specific science qualifications. Our final option in year uh, 11 next year is the science extension with research course. This again leads to external examinations, so there would be three of them in this case, and you would do more than likely two internals as well. The main difference between this and the science external course is that there is a, a large component of research contained within the course. You would have the option and you would have to actually do research on your own. The, the course is, is highly academic and it's, it's definitely best suited for those who, who know they want to do level three biology, chemistry or physics and perhaps even go into university after that. So thank you for listening. Uh, if you do want any more information, please come down to the science department and I will happily speak with you. To mathematics. Mr May is our wonderful Head of Mathematics and I, Mrs Love, and the Assistant Head of Mathematics. This video has been created to help you make an informed decision in regards to your Level 1 Mathematics course. If you are in the Year 10 Mathematics NCEA course, then it is highly recommended that you take the Level 1 Math E course Mathematics Extension. If you feel as though you did not handle the NCEA course this year, then an alternative option for you would be the Level 1 Mat A course, Mathematics with Algebra. If you are in a mixed year 10 Mathematics course this year, then you have a choice between Level 1 Mat A, Mathematics with Algebra, or Level 1 Mat Mathematics. Only if you have done exceptionally well throughout this year should you consider the Level 1 Mathematics Extension course. The main difference between Level 1 Mat and Level 1 Mat A is that the Level 1 Mat A course has an algebra exam held in September and the Level 1 Mat course does not do this exam but instead does a statistics writing internal. You should base your choice on whether you enjoy and have success in algebra or not. Another thing to keep in mind is your future pathway. In Level 2 there are two mathematics options. One being Level 2 Mat, Mathematics with Algebra and Calculus. To enter this course, you have had to have success in either the Level 1 Mat E or Level 1 Mat A course. The other mathematics options at Level 2 is Level 2 Mat, Mathematics with Statistics. To enter this course, you have had to have success in any of the Level 1 Mathematics courses. At Level 3, there is also two mathematics options, Calculus or Statistics. To enter the Level 3 Mat Calculus course, you need to have had success in Level 2 Mat Mathematics with Algebra and Calculus. To enter the Level 3 Mat Statistics course, you need to have had success in either of the Level 2 Mathematics courses.
When deciding your pathway, you should, you should consider which job or course opportunities you may wish to pursue in your future. Most jobs or courses require at least level two mathematics, with some more complex jobs or courses requiring level three mathematics also. Note, some courses specifically require level three calculus. By choosing level one mathematics with algebra, you are keeping your options open for all of the pathways in all of the jobs or courses. So level one mat A is a good choice if you don't have any idea of what you want to do with your future and want to keep your options open. If you are struggling to make your decision, you should check in with your math teacher or come see Mr. May or I for advice. Happy choosing. Kia ora. welcome to the video um, about physical education at level two. We have two courses, one of them is level one sports education, one is level one physical education. One of the differences you'll see is level one sport only goes to level two, where level one physical education goes level two physical education, then level three physical education, and possibly leading on to um, university. So level one sport is less credits. Credits we've chosen are less wordy and there's more practical stuff in the course. But the level one physical education gives you more credits and those credits are targeted at the level two physical education and level three physical education course and a pathway to university. The teachers who take them, level one sport, Mrs. Crawford, Level 2 Sport, Mr Crawford, Level 1 PE, Miss Primer and Miss Blake, Level 1 Physical Education and Outdoor Pursuits, Mr Ross, and Level 3 Physical Education has Mr Wooster and Miss Primer. If you have any questions about any of the Level 1 courses, you can see the teachers who take them or you come and can come and talk to me. Kaki te. Kia ora everyone, my name is Mr Cummins and I'm here to talk to you about the Level 1 English programs on offer here at Karamu. Firstly, you don't really choose the English course you go into next year. This decision is made with conversations with your Year 10 teacher and based on how well or how poorly you did throughout the year in English. We're trying to make sure that you get placed in a classroom that best suits your needs and ability. The Level 1 Extension Program is a continuation of the Year 10 Extension Program. Some students may be moved out of this program or some students may be moved into this program based on how well they have gone in English over the last year. Level 1 English Mainstream is exactly that. This is the course for the majority of our level one students. Level one English Digital is a course designed for those students who find English a little bit more difficult and essentially we are trying to use devices to help you get the credits that you need. Finally we have level one Literacy. This course is designed to build life skills and help you understand how to interact with people through reading, writing, speaking, viewing and presenting. Thanks heaps. Hi Etienne's, welcome to Year 11 Te Reo Māori. In Year 11 we study topics like whānau, kura, hākina, kina and many more. For NCEA we do up to 30 credits of a mix of internal and external standards. And if you're really good, you can take university papers like me. For you to take Te Reo Māori at Year 11, you need to be taking Te Reo Māori at Year 10 right now. We hope to see you next year. Māori ora! Nikiwa, Hi Year 10, welcome to Year 11 Japanese. We need 20 NCA credits, 3 internal achievement standards and 2 external standards or exams. You must be taking Year 10 Japanese in order to actually do Year 11. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes we do go to Japan, but we weren't able to this year. In Year 11, we study topics like family, hobbies, houses, and directions. Good. Kia ora, Tifano. 
In MPA, Māori Performing Arts, we offer 13 credits at level 1. We learn many waiata, haka, Māori games and more. Also, as a performing arts class, we have plenty of opportunities to showcase these items by performing them in the community and also here at school. If this sounds like a class for you, then no my heart of my. Kia ora! Hi Year 10s, it's Miss Gunn and I'm excited to tell you about a new course starting in 2022. It is the Karamo Transition to Employment or Further Training in Education, or for short, the Kite course. This is a two-year course to help you move into meaningful employment or further education or training beyond Karamu High School. You will gain a minimum of NCA Level 1. Some areas of study during this two years is learning more about yourself, communication skills, developing confidence and independence, managing your money and your legal obligations, driver's licence and car maintenance, using the main features of Microsoft Office, customer contact and job interviews, and finally, finding your passion through volunteering or exploring different types of work. If you like to learn in a practical manner, this course is for you, the Level 1 Kite course. For further information, look in the Vocational Pathways section of the Senior Course Booklet. Hello Year 10s, I'm Miss Calcoon, the Head of the Technology Faculty. We have a range of courses for you to choose from next year. You'll be familiar with the Technology Faculty teachers from your Year 9 and Year 10 options. Now it's your chance to spend a whole year with any one of us. Your course selection booklet outlines the courses and how they progress from Level 1 to Level 2 to Level 3. We know that there are common questions that Year 10s have about our courses, such as what's the difference between hospitality and food? Hospitality is an industry-based course where you learn basic cooking skills. You must like cooking as it's very hands-on and practical. Food is more theory-based, looking at haora, well-being, nutrition and healthy alternatives. You do also get practical time to test and trial types of food and cooking methods that relate to the theory work. What's the difference between product design and building? Building is focused on practical skills in the workshop. Student, students build wooden furniture. It's an industry-based course which means it leads to pathways such as apprenticeships and other work in the building industry. Product design is more creative, where you design and make your own designs in the workshop, using a range of materials and processes. Automotive is only available at Year 12 and is for those with experience in the workshop in Year 11. Fashion and textile design includes a range of learning, from the practical skills involved in making your own clothes, to design and drawing, and the chance of entering edible fashion or creating a garment using upcycling. In digital technologies, you use a range of applications in real life situations, including programming. You learn the basics of computer science, which is the working of computers themselves and the programs. DVC, or Design and Visual Communication, um, uses drawing and design skills digital modelling such as SketchUp and Photoshop to create architecture and spatial designs. In Year 11, the main project is designing a small house. Choose one, two or three technology courses if you enjoyed them in Year 9 and Year 10. Come and see us. Talk to the teachers you know in the technology faculty as they can answer any of your questions and may have suggestions for you about what kind of courses would suit your interests and your skills. Please come and see us, we'd love to see you. All the best making your choices, thank you. Level 1 Dance. Level 1 Dance is a course for people who love to move, to dance, to choreograph, to work alone and to work with others. It's really good if you've done dance at year 9 and year 10, or if you've done dance outside of school before you take level 1 dance. 
If you're interested in this course, you can take it right through to level three. Level one drama. It's recommended that you've done some drama before you do level one. You might have done year nine and year 10 drama, or perhaps been part of a drama course or drama group outside of school. But you don't have to have had experience in drama. If you're interested in acting and performance, this could be a good option for you. Level 1 Media Studies leads on from Year 9 and Year 10 Media Studies. But you can take Level 1 Media Studies even if you haven't done Media Studies at Year 9 and 10. Level 1 Media Studies carries on right through to Level 3 and goes to university as well. Possible career options that come from it are working in journalism or in the film industry. In Level 1 Media You'll learn how to design and plan a film. You'll learn how to make a film. You'll also research how we interact with the media. There were two exams at the end of the year. One is on film genre and the other is on how we cover news. Level 1 Music. It's recommended that you have done Year 10 Music or Year 10 Extension Music or have a grade one theory, or equivalent knowledge of rhythmic and melodic notation, if you want to take level one music. Level one music is a flexible course that provides internals that will support you if you are more interested in the performance aspect of music, or if you are more interested in the theory aspect of music. It leads on to level two and level three, and can be taken as a subject at university. Music is something that provides us with more than just credits. And if you love music, it's a great choice for you. Performing Arts Technology is a course that begins at level one. You don't need to have done any particular courses or subjects at year 10 in order to do Performing Arts Technology. It goes from level one to level two and level three and leads into careers in the performing arts technology sector. The things you'll learn to do are makeup, design and application, costume design and creation, sets and props design and creation, and also some stage management, lighting and sound technology. If you want to work in theatre, then this is the ideal course for you. If you love creating things, then Level 1 Art is a great choice for you. If you've done Year 10 Art, that will provide you with a good foundation for Level 1. But you don't have to have done Year 10 Art. At Level 1, you have two choices in Visual Arts. Your first choice is Level 1 Visual Arts. That involves painting, printmaking and sculpture in order to create a portfolio that will be assessed at the end of the year. The other choice you have is digital art. Digital art involves creating artwork on the computer and working with design programs. If you really like working on the computer, or you've worked with Photoshop before, maybe in Year 10 Media, but you love to create, then digital art is a good choice for you. Both subjects lead on to a number of choices at level two. Visual arts leads on to painting, printmaking, design and sculpture. Digital arts leads on to printmaking, design and of course photography. Photography does not require a level one subject. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Glenny and I am the Head of Faculty for the Social Sciences. We have three exciting courses at Year 11 for you to consider. These are Geography, History and Business Studies. All courses offer a range of interesting topics, so if you liked Social Studies at Year 9 and or Year 10, then perhaps pick one or more Social Science courses as part of your subject selection for next year. Geography is often misunderstood as just a subject that looks at countries, capitals, flags and rocks. 
but it is actually all about people and different places. Contexts are selected from all over the world and cover a bit of both natural and human geography. Topics like the COVID-19 global pandemic, savage earth next level looking at hurricanes and cyclones, and sustainable tourism in the beautiful and luxurious Maldives, plus issues like child poverty in New Zealand are studied. It is a diverse and interesting course with a few surprises that creep in which are well worth a look. History looks back at the Springbok Tour when the South African rugby team coming to New Zealand sparked protests across the country, why World War II happened and how Hitler rose to power, and ever heard of Rosa Parks? We also study the civil rights movement in America during the 50s and 70s. And for those looking for a bit of classical education, we throw in a study of the Greek gods like Zeus and Poseidon. Business Studies offers an incredible experience to set up real-life market stalls where you get to design a product, market it, and then sell, sell, sell to make the big bucks. It doesn't get more hands-on than this, and any profits you make, you keep. Other marketing techniques are covered, as are the aspects of businesses that aren't quite in your control. Finally, in Year 12, we also add Tourism as a subject which is a vocational pathway course, and it's great for students who think a career in travel and tourism is for them. All our courses offer a range of skills that future employers look for, so career options from the social sciences are huge, from teaching, law, adventure tourism, border control, media and communications, engineering, defense and protection, politics and government, human resources, psychology, social work, just to name a few. Remember, you can select one of our courses, two, or even all three if you want. Come and have a chat if you want any more information on any of these great courses for 2021. You'll find me in the Social Sciences block in Social Sciences 7.